Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Ant-Man and the Wasp, Marvel's Wasp. This is part of the Cole Obsidian Build-A-Figure Wave, but we have the Wasp here in the front window box displayed with her accessories. You got the Ant-Man and Wasp logo down there at the bottom. At the top we get an Ant-Man logo. On the side we get some artwork of Wasp, same thing on the other side. On the back, we get a cool product shot as well as all the other figures needed in this wave to build the Cole Obsidian Build-A-Figure. And at the top, we do have the read-up. Hope Van Dyne gears up with the signature stingers and high-tech wings as the buzzworthy hero, Wasp. And down here at the bottom, we do have the UPC code, so you can check with your local retailer to see if they have this in stock. But enough about that, let's get this open and take a look at Wasp. And here is Wasp outside of her packaging. And... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool movie figure, to be honest with you. Uh, we're getting a lot of female characters lately, and I think that is really cool that uh, we're starting to pick up on that to uh, you know, get a lot of these complimenting characters. Uh, and obviously, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I don't know how they wouldn't have been able to give us a Wasp figure. Uh, but yeah, I think it was uh, pretty cool uh, that we got it in the uh, Wave 2 of the Infinity War. Uh, probably just wasn't enough to give it its own wave for Ant-Man and the Wasp, but... Uh, with that being said, though, we are going to get a better look here. She does come with a few accessories, so we're going to get a better look at the accessories, and then we're going to get a better look at the figure itself. And checking out the accessories that come with the Wasp, we see we get a unmasked head, which we'll actually look at once we do the closer looks here, so we'll set that aside, uh, which leaves us with her backpack with the wings out and her backpack without the wings and an extra pair of hands. So she does come with two... Uh, these flying hands, I guess you'd call them, but yeah, they're just, we've seen these before. And then she does come with two fisted hands as well. So you can either have in, uh, have her in a flying pose or in a fisted pose. And they just pop right out. So you pull out the one hand that you want to switch. And, oh, I need a fisted hand. There we go. And you pop in the other hand. And there you go. Now looking at the ports on her back, she's got this port on her back, uh, which you can see it does have the little peg at the bottom, so you can't put it on upside down, not that it would really go on upside down anyway, but in this case, this is her uh, no wings backpack, so that you can have that on there, that way you don't just have a uh, blank back, which I think is cool that uh, Hasbro did that, and then you have her winged backpack, which has the same type of port, and it just goes on the back there, and there you go. And I know it's been hard to see the wings there because of the overexposure. So there we go. We'll get a good look at them here. And uh, one thing that's kind of stinks about them is they don't really fold down. But I guess considering they gave you the no wing backpack, there's really no reason to fold them down. Uh, so they kind of have limited articulation. Uh, you can see they can only go down so far and can only go up so far uh, based on that hinge. But Again, I think that's okay considering they gave us uh, the other backpack. So in the most cases, she's going to have uh, her wings out for this set. Uh, but enough about that. Let's go ahead and get a better look at Wasp. And getting up close here with the Wasp helmet, we can see probably the coolest feature where we actually have eyes sculpted behind those uh, lenses there, which I think is just too cool. I don't know how much they are coming through on here, but you can see right behind there are some of the eyes. And that's very much how it was with the Giant Man Build-A-Figure from the, uh, well, the Giant Man Wave uh, that was released for Civil War, where you could see his eyes behind there. And I think that is just awesome. Uh, the rest of the figure we can see very much inspired by uh, the same design for Ant-Man. So you have the antenna there. Sorry, it's a little wobbly. Uh, the design that is inspired from the Ant-Man uh, look there with the antenna sticking out and uh, of course the way the front mouthpiece looks. Uh, let's go ahead though real quick so grab the head yank it off there and then we have the unmasked Evangeline Lily head sculpt and that just pops right on there there we are and let's take a look at that up close and man Hasbro is getting really good with this digital uh, technology they're using for these head sculpts so very well done, very well painted. Uh, looks like maybe, did they miss a little bit on the lip there? Eh, not too bad. Uh, but up close you can see that digital printing again that's going on, but really well done. 
the hair looks great. You get a ponytail that is stuck on there. It does not come off, uh, but either way, that still looks great. Uh, taking a look though now at the rest of the figure as we go down, uh, we can see a well-textured suit uh, and some decent paintwork uh, going through it there with the gold, some good trim lines on the red and the, uh, the silver there. I went with the uh, closed backpack just for the sake of being able to see some of the sculpting work here. And you got a belt that comes all the way around. You got the abs uh, basically painted on there. And you got some really fine red line work there. And it came out okay. Could be a little bit better. Mm, those are looking good there on the wrist. One thing I did notice, depending on how the legs were, you got a little bit of a gap. That's kind of a, eh, and that hip joint looks like there's a bit of a gap there, too. Yeah, not too bad looking, though, going down to the rest of the figure. Very subtle paint work. Didn't really need a whole lot. Just a lot of line work, and most of the paint is right there in the chest piece uh, and the upper torso, and that came out looking okay. There is, oddly enough, right here, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but on that right breast, there is a small spot where it's not gold, and instead it's like silver. But other than that, everything else looks like it came out pretty good. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look now then at her scale and articulation. And checking out the scale on the Wasp here, we can see she's coming in just shy of 6 inches, which is about right for most female characters. For articulation, you got a head that can go all the way around. It can bury the chin down pretty far, go forward pretty far. It's a little loose, like there's a bit of wobble on it, but it doesn't really impede too much articulation, just so you know. Uh, you have arms that can go up, eh, not bad. Full rotation. You do have a single jointed elbow with rotation at the elbow. You have a hinge with rotation at the wrist. She does have that diaphragm joint here in the middle which doesn't really give much of an ab crunch at all. Going back, not a whole lot there either. You got a little bit more out of it. But of course you do get full rotation out of it. You got legs that can come apart that far, kick forwards, kick backwards. You do have a upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then you have a ankle hinge with ankle pivot. And for a quick comparison, here is the entire Cull Obsidian wave standing together. You have the Infinity War, Thor and Black Widow, Ant-Man and Wasp, Cull Obsidian in the back, Malekith, and the Black Knight. And here is one last shot of both Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly standing next to each other in their Ant-Man and Wasp uniform. And that about wraps it up for this review, everyone. And uh, I'm going to do a, a, a closing statement for both of these figures. It'll be shared on both videos. Uh, overall, though, I think they really did a great job uh, getting us these figures. Got, they got it to us you know, really quick. You had uh, the movie dropped, and you already had these guys hitting the shelves before the movie even dropped, to be honest. Uh, there are some great things. I love the eyes that they did with Wasp through the lens. I think that was great. The unmasked head sculpts on both of them are fantastic looking, uh, uh, just a terrific likeness. I think there were some opportunities with Ant-Man, especially around the mask area, uh, for what we could have done to just improve that a little bit. Uh, but overall, a great pair and a great addition to the MCU collection. So with that, guys, make sure to hit that like button down below if you like these videos. Make sure to leave a comment down below. I always like hearing from you and replying as best I can. And make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. But as always, thanks for watching my video, and have a great day.